Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Just a real quick reaction here to the Q1 2022 earnings. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I always uh, take the time to read through before I jump on any social media venues. Uh, some very good churn on the Discord. You guys are welcome to kick over there. Serious business here. I'm not going to get on here and jump up and down with pom poms. I'm not going to do that. Um, you guys tune in to me, get my uh, singular approach. It costs you nothing, my singular opinion, my commentary on the stock. Um, I, I typically am very, very neutral when it comes to business, uh, whether it be uh, whether or not I'm, I'm being constructively critical of the company or whether or not I'm being uh, uh, positive in, in trying to provide awareness to this company. Uh, real quick, the highlights here are, are as follows, 170 Hypertruck ERX uh, solidifying against their backlog. This is something that I've called for the last six months, something that they've needed to do. They continue to advance on this front. 2,000 units in the reser reservation state, that is bullet number one on the Q1 earnings. We're going to get more color around this during the earnings call. Time of filming this is the night before earnings. I won't be able to drop this until the night after earnings. Uh, I, I'm certain that there's going to be a little bit more amplifying surrounding um, that uh, opportunity there. Down in the report, talked about um, the actual new sales team paying dividends right away for Hylion. This is enormous. This is one small segment of them building out their team. This is something that I've always said and given due credit for Hylion with regard to an A-plus in the hiring category, bringing on new talent. Thomas Healy just uh, doubled down on this with regard to his satisfaction with the talent that he's bringing onto the team here. Number two, which I thought was one of the biggest ones uh, and one that I really expressed my uh, largest surprise on uh, was the Hypertruck ERX expected to qualify for, for full credit. Are, are you freaking kidding me? Full credit within the advanced clean fleet legislation carbs new mandate for fleets. What I was able to garner from this is the OEMs are now going to have leverage against them to not accommodate for 100% of a, of a diesel dominated fleet as they turn them off the line. It's going to require customers to finally make that transition to green and the Hypertruck ERX qualifies for that credit. Would you like me to go back and repeat it? Or would you like to read it for yourself? Okay. This is absolutely 100% positive. I was absolutely ecstatic to, to, to read that there. Um, on track with uh, Hypertruck ERX timelines, we knew that. That was great to be reemphasized, uh, as well as to double down on the projected two to three million in revenue for this year. Um, that was also uh, reiterated during this call. Uh, they generated 340, in, uh, 340 million in revenue, which uh, for you uh, bean counters out there was double all of 2021 revenue for the entire year. Okay. <laughs> so uh, quarter, quarter over quarter, blew it out of the water, beat analyst expectation for seven, yes, seven quarters in a row. Something is going on here that is awry. And with the amount of pressure that's uh, going on at the end of the day, this is just a stock and a stock can only remain low for long enough. Thinking heads on the stock have earmarked 2024, latter 2023 uh, and 2024 as really the coming out party for Hylion with regard to its ability to scale up on the interest that's been garnered through the ride and drive program that Hylion has sponsored uh, here and has generated orders. Um, it spoke about that in the report here, uh, but finally closes out the quarter. Uh, with 527 million on the balance sheet. Uh, some interesting notes that I found uh, on the balance sheet itself. Uh, everything looks good. The company is very healthy, lots of cash. Uh, cash equivalents with short-term investments and uh, long-term investments. What, what stuck out to me uh, was an enormous accounts receivable uh, account on the balance sheet. I, I don't know where the hell that came from. And I don't know if they're going to provide some color on that. Uh, I found that to be extremely bullish uh, on the company, but uh, no, nothing but positive here in the quarter. Again, you, again, try uh, attempting to work against uh, that order backlog, getting those secured with the amount of build slots that are uh, 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 very tough to come by right now. Um, they did allude to the continued uh, um, uh, discussions on the uh, um, uh, supply chain issues that they're still suffering from. Guys, that's outside of Hylion's control. They, they cannot, uh, cannot control that. But 
Um, in the first quarter, the California Air Resource CARB released draft language for their advanced clean fleet mandate. This initiative puts requirements on the fleets regarding credits that must be obtained. Adopting clean vehicles under, under the current draft language of the ACF, the Hypertruck ERX will qualify for full credit for each vehicle the fleet adopts. Incentive? Yes. Catalyst? Yep. It's exactly what I told you would happen with the stars aligning with this company. Now, the quarter, I told you guys I had very low expectations. Um, this beat and exceeded my low expectations, very, very low bar. But we're talking about the momentum shifting. And if you want to take a chance on trying to buy the stock at some point uh, from now until this inevitable shift in 2023 and 2024, where we are getting hints of the very interest that exists with this company and the products that they are pushing forward to drive a cleaner future into a, a, a greener future for fleets, then be my guest. Uh, my solution is very, very simple. Buy and hold. Buy and hold is my solution. The stock can go wherever it's going to go. I've got my cost basis down to where I'm comfortable. For me, there is absolutely no difference between a dollar amount that is uh, being rendered right now in the stock market and what my cost basis is at this particular point with regard to having some sort of foresight on where this company is going to go into the future. We're going to stand by and we are going to be paying attention I do want to notice this. The Hypertruck ERX will also qualify for 75% of the ZEV credit. Okay. Very, very important there to know that there's going to be incentive there to help supplement the upfront cost. There is no longer any barrier to entry. The only barrier to entry thus far is the um, uh, lack of ability of the product and the final certifications that need to fall uh, in the domino effect. Uh, before this company can actually turn out this product and start to turn it out on a mass scale. But the Discord group has done a good job of breaking down where what we could potentially be looking at here for uh, 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 revenues, uh, top end revenues as they start to grow, uh, reiterating that two to three million, which is kind of immaterial. Um, it's not immaterial from the sense that they are making sales with their hybrid EX product, which represents a 70% year over year increase in the uh, sales uh, revenue that's generated just from the hybrid EX product, which is bullish enough. Uh, I thought the report, I would invite you guys to kick over to highlyon.com. They post that to the news releases. Uh, it was released after hours. The stock has popped up back again, 11% after hours. We will see and we will stay tuned to the stock action tomorrow and make sure that um, you know the, the stock is continuing to get no love we, we foot stomp this on the independent investor channel because I have not seen a more intriguing opportunity to get involved in the ground floor of a company being priced right now below cash with the prospects and the interest that's being garnered on this product. It's the best kept secret in the market. Mark my word, I'm not going to tell you when, but I'm going to tell you it's inevitable. If these folks continue to execute against their business plan, it is only a matter of time before the momentum takes off and it is not gonna be your time to jump on this when there's FOMO buying going on in this stock. I will sit back, uh, I may have a cigar, I may have a drink, but the last thing I'm gonna do is play ball as far as trying to FOMO buy this stock up with the momentum that has been created by this disconnect in this market who has chosen to give this company all of the uh, the, the lack of benefit of the doubt coming into this market in the face of a very, very difficult market, the momentum is going to shift and it's going to shift in a big way. Guys, if you appreciate the message, leave your comments at the bottom based on the Q1 2022 earnings report that was turned out. The conference call will be held uh, tomorrow, uh, May 10th here going into this. It's going to be awesome to hear additional color around the quarter. I thought it was fabulous. Absolutely fantastic start of momentum going into 2022, which I consider to be a bridge year. There are still those catalysts out there that can be met through 2022 that can surprise to the upside, guys. I would not sleep on this opportunity. I would take a hard look at it, study the quarter for yourself, do your own due diligence, make your own opinion on whether or not you think that this company can actually realize its vision to be the dominant electrified powertrain solution of choice for the class eight fleet going forward guys leave those comments at the bottom make sure and subscribe to the message and share the message with anybody out there uh shareholders and uh would be uh, uh interested patrons 
uh, to the Hylion story and what they're trying to do in Make a Better Planet. And they're looking to do that one truck at a time for the Class 8 space, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future. Thank you.